LeBron won the Razzie for worst actor. Yeah. Because you're deranged, you actually think this contributes to the GOAT debate. Um, explain yourself. Okay, again, the editorializing that's happened in the last 15 minutes on the show, call me deranged, Get yeah, inserting your own opinions here. I'm going to have to check the contract that, wait, you don't have <laughs> to see what your actual responsibilities are. But the, I'll tell you this much right now. It absolutely unequivocally does give an, another example as to why LeBron is judged so much differently than every other great athlete ever. LeBron just became the first basketball player ever, and I believe athlete ever, to win this award. Now, is he the first athlete turned actor? No. Is he the first basketball player turned actor? No. Is he the first Los Angeles Laker turned actor? No. So let's go to Shaquille O'Neal, who was in some historically bad movies, including Shazam, and the, 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 the idea that Shaquille O'Neal has never won a Razzie for best actor. The idea that we all still to this day pretend that Michael Jordan was a good actor right. in Space Jam. <laughs> and LeBron, his movie grosses $160 million. He puts his kid in it, and everyone's like, oh, I got to tell you, his blocking in the second act, not up to par. Oh, my goodness. His comedic timing could use some work. Just I, Everyone says, I'm deranged. No, no, no. This is a microcosm for how we do LeBron James on the court, too. It just, uh, through the prism of, of nostalgia and the haziness of history, Michael Jordan never missed a big shot. Michael Jordan never missed a big free throw. Michael Jordan never had a bad game. Meanwhile, LeBron, over the weekend, can have 39 points against the Pelicans. The Lakers lose and be like, oh, guy scored four in the fourth. What does it mean <laughs> for him as the GOAT? So, yeah, this does contribute to the GOAT argument. Because it's a, it is a part and parcel example that LeBron James is held to a standard, the likes of which no athlete ever has been held to. The idea that we, it's not like, oh, you're a famous guy, you're in a movie. No, you go back and watch some of those Jim Brown performances in the movies that he left football for. Go back and watch literally any Shaq movie, other, sorry Shaq, other than Blue Chips or Penny Hardaway in Blue Chips or the, the, the only real athlete actor performance that was great was Ray Allen, and he got game. You know why? Because he was playing Ray Allen. He was playing, he was like, hey, uh, great high school prospect. You're going to throw money and women at me? Oh, okay, I can play that. The, I, so, yeah, it actually does add to the GOAT debate because it shows how unfairly LeBron's been treated by charlatans such as yourself in the media. I can't believe I just said, like, someone such as yourself in the media. That you have done, you've given five minutes of opinions on the show, and now I'm looking at you as like a fellow media member. Hey, like, man, what can I say? Look, okay. Can I say All right, that? let's play a game. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show, and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts, or just click the link in the description below.